I live as Mark War with the Thoroughbred Daily News. Bloodstock agent Mike Ryan has now bred or bought no fewer than 12 Breeders' Cup winners, including two this year, Bricks and Mortar, Instructor. He's got an interesting history with Structor's family. He not only purchased Structor's sire, Palace Malice, as a yearling, he bred his dam, Miss Always Ready, and for a time owned his second dam, Miss Seffens. Very familiar with the, both Palace Malice and Miss Seffens, who's the grand dam of Structor. We bought Miss Seffens in, I think it was 2006, actually from Three Chimneys, and bred her a couple of years later to More Than Ready, and she's a dam of More Than Real, and then bred her back to More Than Ready and got Miss Always Ready, who we sold at the two-year-old sales through Niall, Niall Brennan at Keeneland. Palace Malice loved him as a yearling, but a magnificent specimen, and sent to Niall Brennan. Niall and I owned him together, and he broke him, and he was sort of a late blooming horse, and we weren't in any hurry. We, we felt all along Keenan was the right spot for him, and he's one of my all-time favorite horses. He's just, he was a classy horse, was a top horse at two, three, and four, and he just, so versatile. Could sprint, could run long, you know, mile and a half, classic distance, and then the Met Mile, I mean, he was just, he was a really good horse, and a very determined, courageous horse. The day he won the Met Mile, that was a hell of a race. Unfortunately, I didn't, I didn't get to see um, the big horse structure as a yearling, but I, when I saw him at the two-year-old sales, I mean, it was a two-second decision. I said, this is a beast. And this was after he worked, and it was obvious, to, it was no secret, he worked in 21 and one or something. I mean, it was a it was the way he did it, though. It was, I mean, he did it the right way, a lot of horse underneath him, and it's just, his stride was magnificent. And then when I saw him back at the barn, I said, oh my goodness, this is, this is a serious horse. Like, it was, it was, it was like one of those things that, you immediately said, this is, this is a horse going to bring a lot of money. He really uh, you know, was more like uh, Palace Mouse in regards to his build and his proportions, but had a lot of the mare's quality and refinement at the same time. So it, it kind of basically exceeded our expectations in regard to the physical for a first foal from that mare. He's a lot like his dad. He's got a lot of leg, a lot of scope, great strength over his back and quarters, you know, good shape to him. Very similar in height and stature and dimension to his dad. He's at Stone Street at the minute for a little vacation and he'll go back to Chad in early January. So it's it's come full circle and very excited about the stallion and he's, he's done well. He's got some other good runners. That Cristal is a very nice filly. That horse won at Churchill the other day was extremely impressive. The brother to uh, Monomoy girl, Mr. Monomoy. I mean, he, he won under wraps uh, like a good horse. Separated himself pretty, pretty impressively from the pack. And so he's getting winners on dirt and grass and you know, for a horse that won the Belmont, you would have to expect that, like he was, and like most Carlins and smart strikes, they get better with distance and maturity and time. Between Cristal and, and, and Structor, you know, it, it seemed to be leaning towards turf in, in uh, Palace Mouse's offspring, you know, and, and so to have Mr. Monmoy come out and be a TDN rising star on the dirt was great. I mean, why, why wouldn't that happen with Palace Malice? I, th I think the the turf has been a bonus and maybe the turf had been something related more to the distance of the races rather than the surface. We felt like 25 was a number that was appropriate, that was fair, that gave people a chance to, to uh, you know, make a profit and, and keep demand high for our horse w without, you know, kind of gouging anybody based on his early success. And, and the response has been fantastic. I think he's great value. At the outset, he was priced very fairly and I think he's a horse that can bring a good return on stud fee at the sales.